Hello, I'm Matthew, and I'm here with another episode of How to Become a Better Human. Well, first of all, for you to become better at anything, your body has to be better. Feed it better, but when you wake up, stretch. You see these old people walking into the store and they look like they're made of concrete. You can avoid that by stretching and yoga and giving yourself 20 minutes in the morning before you get out of bed to stretch your body fully. Really stretch your body out fully, twist and stretch, stretch your legs, bring them to your chest. And then when you wake up, do this with your hands. Just shake your, you've got to shake off the night. And I learned this all from Katie Brindle and the English woman who specializes in Chinese medicine and acupressure. And she's helped me so much. She's on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And just by stretching and tapping, and there are videos out there to find out how to do it, and do that, and, uh, and give thanks to why you're here. You know, each day is a gift, I think. And since I, I'll tell you, I had a blood pressure of 289 over 169, which kills most people. I had a stroke and spent five days in the hospital and something changed. Uh, I had what they called an epiphany. There was doctors around me when I was first admitted in the hospital, and they said, I said, why are you, am I famous? <laughs> Joking. I was, you know, I, I get nervous and joke, and they said, no, we've never seen anybody with blood pressure that high and still living. Maybe it's because I'm a hybrid. I don't know. But um, one nurse said something to me that really stayed in my heart, and she said, if you're not dead, the world has more need for you. You have a purpose. You'll find that purpose. And I found it, and here I am. I'd just like to share with you some of the things that really helped me out, and that stretching and gratitude, gratitude for the earth. If there's a tree in your yard or someplace close, the bigger, the better. Go and put your hands on the tree and you can connect with the earth. Humans are the only creatures that don't seem to worship the planet they live on. They just take from it. They hunt for sport and entertainment when there's a store full of food. You know, the human body was designed a long time ago. And the design has not changed since. Stretch. Be thankful for being alive. Be thankful for what you have. And that's all individual. I'm not a big fan of organized religion. It's, to me, it's counterproductive to be a group. That seems more like government and police work than it does spirituality. And, you know, if you keep it confined to yourself, you don't need to tell people this is what you need to do, and you don't have a group that you meet with. It's uh, not like that for me. I'm very spiritual. 
but I don't believe that I need a, a book to be that way, and I don't believe anybody else needs a book or a guide. You can just do that on your own, and you will find your own path. Finding your own path it may be the subject of this topic here. And find your own path. The inner voice will tell you. Just detach from societal norms and everything you've been taught and allow, allow, that's the key word, allow the universe to teach you, and it will. Be friendly. There's no reason to not be friendly to people. Everyone you see on the street, we're all in the same lifeboat of life. Now you're going to find people you don't like, and that's natural. Avoid them. You don't have to be friends with everybody, but you can be friends with more people if you're friendly, and then you can decide after you know them if you don't like what they, who they are. But I've noticed in the USA, walking down the street, people stick to themselves, they don't talk to each other. And in other countries in Europe that I've been to, when I say hello, they say hello back. Even just a hand gesture. They'll do it back. In America, they look away and try to be isolated in a giant sea of people. We're all in this together. And, you know, accept people. That was, that was the big message for a lot of years. Just accept people how they basically are. With, if they're different than me is what I'm talking about. Like if their sexuality is different than yours, that doesn't bother anyone. If their color of skin is different than yours, that doesn't bother anyone. It's the people. If the people, the person, is not to your liking, like I said in the last segment, just delete them from your life. You don't need the aggravation. Go for the people that like you and that are honest and truthful about it, not just putting on some, not wearing, like, say, a political party. That's not real. That's like wearing a sports team. Like, I'm a Cubs fan. I can't like the Dodgers. Nah, that's baloney. Just cut out all the bullshit in your life. Get down to what's really important, and that's being humanitarian to humans. Humans need this more than they ever have in the USA. There seems to be a us against them or this team against the other side kind of mentality when a hundred years ago, it was all for one. It might have not been the greatest time for some people. I, I, I watched the movie 42 last night with Alan Tudyk and Chadwick Boseman and Harrison Ford. And I love Alan Tudyk, and it shows what a great actor he was. He is, but he was this horrible to Chadwick Boseman, a super racist. And, you know, people were like that. Again, 
The fear of the unknown creates hatred. That's the way for gay people or transsexual people. And that's not going away. Science is here to stay. It's ironic that the people who claim to be pro-science don't accept that. But once again, judge people, or not judge, actually make your judgment if you're going to like someone based on that person's personality rather than their sexual preference or color of skin. And you'll be happier. The fear of what you don't know and the lack of experience with things that you don't know, that's how they make an enemy out of another country when there's war. That's how, what they did with Muslim. And I got hired on 2002, right after 9-11, out of college. And for 20 years, I was immersed in a sea of a lot of Muslims, and I have found them to be the nicest people I encounter and the most at peace. I thought, how can these people be an enemy? It's because the media makes monsters of people. Turn off the news. That's my first suggestion. Turn off talk bullshit radio and you'll be happier. Talk to someone in person or on the phone. Cut down on social media. Learn a new craft or hobby or art or something. Something that you you can create something and you'll be happier. It's people that have nothing to do and nothing to offer this planet that are not happy. You have no purpose. Find your purpose, and that will probably be the next subject I talk about. Find your purpose in how to be a better human. I'm Matthew.